Hello, welcome to jdeveloper02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, we will be creating our first Java class in jdeveloper. So, as you already know, in jdeveloper, you can't create standalone Java classes. First, you have to create an application. Within the application, you create a project, and within the project, you create one or more classes. So, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let me just switch to uh, jdeveloper and uh, so once you launch JDeveloper, this is the screen uh, that you're going to see. So I'm going to click on this new application option here. As soon as I click on the new application option, this window will pop up asking me for the application name. So the application name is, let's say, friend application. Okay, and uh, so these are all the templates that are available in JDeveloper. I'm going to choose a generic application so that all the JDeveloper technologies are available to my project. So I'm just going to click on next button and the next window is asking me for the project information. So my project name would be let's say friend project and uh, so I'm just going to click on finish button here. So now this project name appears here and there is nothing inside the project. I can click on this plus sign and nothing shows. I can right click on the project and I, I, I will choose this new option here. Okay. As soon as I click on new, this list pops up asking me to choose the technology. Uh, so under general category, I'm going to choose Java because I want to create a Java class and this Java class is already selected here. I'm going to click on OK button. So now this window pops up asking me for the class name and let's say the class name is friend. I'm going to keep everything as it is. I'm just going to click OK button here and here I see the whole structure of the class. The whole skeleton structure is already created for me so I'm simply gonna add one more method here so I've just clicked here and uh, press enter enter uh, now I'm gonna create method public string say hello okay so bracket open and bra bracket as soon as I open the bracket the back uh, or uh, J developer automatically uh, this uh, displays me uh, the bracket uh, the closing bracket here because uh, the developer knows if I'm opening the bracket I'll close it anyway so now if we, if I leave it like this uh, you see that this green box has changed to red and two more red boxes appear here so the top uh, box is indicating that there are errors and each of these small boxes are indicating the error messages so if I take my mouse to the uh, this uh, to the top box and to the second box I'll see the error messages okay so now J developer can uh, complete uh, uh, syntax for you uh, you can go to source and choose a complete statement or you can simply uh, press control shift enter and J developer will complete your statement if it has to be completed okay so let me uh, just press control shift and enter and as you can see, J Developer has uh, uh, created these uh, curly uh, brackets for me, okay? Because uh, those were one of the things that were missing. And you can see this one of the small red box has disappeared. So let me just enter uh, some command within this uh, uh, method. So return. And now I'm gonna uh, press the key for uh, the double quote. As soon as I uh, create one double quote the second double quote is automatically created for me so I'm gonna go hello and plus sign and I'm gonna do another double quote and second quote is uh, automatically created for me by J developer okay so I'm just gonna do semicolon here okay as soon as I do that you can see all the red boxes have disappeared and the top red box have been changed to green indicating that there are no errors so far in this uh, 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 you know in this class so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my work by pressing control s and you can see the message at the bottom uh, my my class has been saved okay so in the next tutorial we're gonna create main method under this class I see you in the next tutorial